This is a perennial broccoli, this kind of triffid that grows here and just keeps on growing. I'm just taking off some of the, the mouldy leaves. It gets very damp in here um, in the winter, lots of condensation. Uh, but yeah, it's just always a source of uh, lovely dark green leaves and it just keeps on growing and keeps on growing and layers itself in the soil mm -hmm. here and, and reproduces. There's another one gone over there. Sounds very efficient. Why, how come we don't all have perennial? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone should have one. Um, you see it all over the place in um, in Portugal I've seen it growing around and there's a wild it's kind of similar to like the wild broccoli and wild kales that you get growing along the coast more in the south we don't really get it in the north in in Scotland here uh, my favorite way of having it is like these quite tough leaves um, sliced up finely uh, with finely sliced ginger and balsamic vinegar mm. as a salad just straight as you can get it. Yes. How many broccoli do you get uh, uh, in one time then? Um, it's slow at the moment because it's in the middle of winter uh, but when it's you know producing it's not it seems to be really random not any particular time of year um, but say that's a that's a head I just picked off there a week or so ago. Down a set. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Just into shot. Um, that's where I picked a head off a couple of weeks ago and um, that was just a nice one person head <laughs> and then it's re-sprouting there. It's not, it's not like broccoli, the, a lot of the plants I have here, I don't use them as you would conventionally. I'm not expecting any sort of massive, big, fat, juicy, green um, supermarket style um, broccoli heads but it's the dark leafy green that matters to me it's uh, it's just full of nutrients and it's live it's as fresh as you can get it and so a, lo a lot of the plants I've you know I've had a cabbage coppice going for about five years once because I just kept picking it kept cutting it off and allowing it to regrow why do you think people are so um, used to eating the fruiting body rather than the leaves when you go to, to grocery stores, for example? I don't know, it's just what we've been uh, advertising, probably, more than anything. That's what we've come to expect. It's an acquired taste. It's a, it's a strong green, this. Um, but I think when you know, when you realise how, what that taste is about, that it's, it's the mineral that gives it that taste, uh, then you, you kind of appreciate it a bit more. Mm -hmm.